What's up guys, my name is Brandon and welcome back to the 24th jailbreak update video. Today we're going to be talking about the upcoming ZeroCon event and what it means for us jailbreakers, the status on the iOS 10.2.1 and 10.3 jailbreak, a new iOS 9 downgrade tool, spring to my 4 and more. Before we get started, I just want to make sure that you guys are following me on Twitter. YouTube has been really acting up lately and not showing my videos in subscription boxes. I haven't been getting notifications. I have a couple test accounts set up uh, on my own phones and I can tell you know, when my videos aren't hitting sub boxes or getting notifications. So I just wanna let you guys know that that is not an issue on Twitter. You will always get my notifications you know, when I tweet something out and when I tweet a new video that I just uploaded. So I just wanna urge you guys to go over and follow me on Twitter if you have not been getting my updates here on YouTube. But anyways, let's get to why you clicked on this video. So ZeroCon, what exactly is ZeroCon? So ZeroCon is a high-level conference where security researchers and hackers and developers from all over the world present and discover vulnerabilities and exploits for all types of software, not just iOS, but Android, Windows, all types of OSs. And there's also going to be paid training courses from Pengu at this event. So it seems like a pretty awesome event, and it does take place on April 13th and 14th in Korea. So all that sounds cool, but why are we talking about this? So the reason we're talking about this is because Ian Beer from Google's Project Zero and another team member from Project Zero, along with Pengu, are actually going to be at this event. So as you can see here, Ian Beer from Google's Project Zero is gonna be talking about mock portal and kernel bugs in iOS. You can see here, Ian says, quote, I will discuss discovery and exploitation of multiple sandbox escape and kernel bugs on iOS. And then after Ian Beer's talk, Pengu is gonna take the stage and talk about some exploits they found in Mac OS Sierra. You can see here Pengu says, quote, in this talk, we will uncover such kernel vulnerabilities and discuss the whole kernel exploitation chain in detail. And then you can see here we have other security researchers and hackers and developers that are going to be discussing the PS4 exploits, which is pretty interesting. It's not Luca Tedesco either. He's not going to be at this event, but they're also going to be discussing about Microsoft, Intel, Android, and more throughout this whole two-day event. So what exactly does this mean for us? And the answer is probably nothing. None of the vulnerabilities or exploits or demonstrations or anything like that are set to be public after this event so it doesn't really mean much for us however it does make for an awesome event for developers and teams to actually link up and start collaborating on something that could turn into an ios jailbreak in the future think pengu and google's project zero possibly teaming up and talking about new exploits and then possibly releasing a jailbreak later on down the road from this event like i said that's just a possibility it's not really likely but i did just want to talk about it just because it's something going on in the jailbreak scene right now and i also wanted to touch on this because i have been getting a lot of questions of people asking is Ian Beer going to demonstrate a new mock portal for iOS 10.3 and my answer to that is most likely not he's probably just gonna be talking about the mock portal jailbreak that he made public a while back basically just explaining and demonstrating other kernel exploits that are similar and as far as I know nothing from this event is actually going to be made public so most everything here is going to be closed it's gonna be private you know there's not gonna be videos of the demonstrations or anything like that and if you want to find out more about this event you can click the link down in the description below it'll take you to their website which will show you everything about this event as for the status of the iOS 10.2.1 and 10 point three jailbreaks absolutely nothing has changed since my last jailbreak update video. However, iOS 10.2.1 is still being signed, so I urge you right now, if you're on anything higher than 10.2.1, downgrade to 10.2.1 as soon as you can, using a tutorial that you can find in the cards right now and also in the description below. Also, make sure you save your SHSH2 blobs, which again, I did make a video tutorial on how to do that as well. And another thing I mentioned in the last jailbreak update video that I just wanna mention again is do not anticipate a 10.2.1 or a 10.3 jailbreak. You're just gonna be waiting forever and eventually lose hope. My advice is just to not anticipate the jailbreak at all and just let the jailbreak, if it ever does get released, just be a surprise to you. It's going to be a lot better that way. But of course, if you are desperate for a jailbreak, I would honestly sell your device right now and then go to eBay and find one that is jailbreakable, one that's on iOS 10.2 or if you're looking for a 7, one on iOS 10.1.1. I also just wanted to talk about a new iOS 9 downgrade tool that was just recently released called iDevice Restore. This tool is going to allow you to downgrade from any firmware back down to iOS 9.x. But of course, this method, just like every other method that's ever going to exist, does require you to have SHSH blobs saved. If you want to know more information about this downgrade tool, go ahead and check the description down below. I'll have a link to it and everything about it. And last, I just want to talk about Spring to Mice 4. So Spring to Mice 4 was just recently released, and of course, it is a must download for anybody with Cydia on their device. Spring to Mice 4 takes all the features from Spring to Mice 3 and even adds some additional features to make Spring to Mice 4. And of course, it's just as good as expected. There are a few kinks and bugs. I don't want to make it seem so 
perfect, but those I'm sure will be fixed very soon. As for a new jailbreak update video where I'm going to be showing off Spring to Mass 4, expect that next week. I've been delaying this just because of the issues with YouTube. It's been really killer for me. You know, a lot of my videos aren't going to sub boxes and, you know, they're not getting notifications, things like that. So I wanted to make sure this video, everybody sees this video uh, when I do release it because I put so much time into it. You know, I don't want just a few people to see it. So I'm waiting for YouTube to sort their stuff out. Seems like it's getting better now. So I'm going to plan on releasing that next week. And of course, I will be live streaming just like every week on Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern. My internet actually just got recently fixed. So make sure you come out on Friday night at 8 p.m. Eastern and talk jailbreak, iPhone, Samsung, everything. So there you have it, guys. That is the latest that is going on in the jailbreak world right now. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. A ton more videos are in the works. So make sure you subscribe. I do a lot of these type of videos as well, jailbreak update videos, pretty much every week now. So make sure you subscribe if you want to see more of these. Also, again, make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys very soon.